grain cart's still here, the butt man is here, and the semi is still here. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna hop in, but probably one of those two, either the semi or the grain cart. I don't know, let's get parked and uh, get on the horn with some folks. Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Happy Pup Land. Tired Pup Land. Ugh, and balding guy land. Much better. Anyway, I got Curtis calling. Yellow. Today, it's a Monday afternoon. We got a big rainstorm coming. So if you guys remember carding this video right here where we got rained out. Hi. Oh, oh, hi. I'm trying to vlog here, dog. Sorry about that. So we got rained out last night. It wasn't much, maybe a tenth just to wet the concrete, but we got a big storm coming in this afternoon, hopefully this evening. And we went and try and knock out all the corn on the field that we were in yesterday. It's about 60 acres left. Got a lot to go. It's uh, like I said, it's already past noon. So we gotta get moving. So let's go hop in a semi, gotta grab some lunches and then uh, we'll head out. Okay, you got the butt man here. It's windy, feel. Green curtain, semi, corn. We're gonna get at it here. It's supposed to rain about between five and six, so it's about 12.30. We're gonna get going here until it rains. A new grain cart. Can't wait. Fail. I didn't need to do a free trip because Pat just spent five hours in this semi uh, taking the bull where I could take it a load of cattle. Oh. Sorry about that. So he just took a load of the cattle or a load of cattle to the processor this morning. So let's go ahead and get the get this to my dad's truck. Go get the uh, lunches and we'll get moving. There he is starting there, and I am in the tractor with this big Brent back behind me. Here. Okay, he's gonna knock out this little piece here quick, and then we're gonna start on that big piece. I'm back. It's the season, so we're gonna pick some corn. Oh, this is a nice tractor. I like him. Unhappy putt today, aren't ya? Eight. Fail. Eight. Let's go. Let's go see Grandma. Let's go see Grandma. Let's go. Oh wow, you can sprint now. Fuck yeah, she's tiring me out. Whew. She's not a puppy anymore, at least not a small one. <laughs> There's my first dump into this big Brent V1100. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is new. This measures the weight going into that wagon. They must have hooked something fancy up to it. So Curtis is all the way up top. This bin is full. He's switching. There's a levers up there. He's just going to pull the switcher from that pipe to that pipe to fill this bin. We should. Uh, we have a pulley system for it, but never got it hooked up. We need to because climbing up there 10 times a year, other than just one for grease and sucks. You can kind of see them right there. So let's move these out of here and then take off. Hi Daisy. Kind of a weird place to unload, but we're doing it. Oh, Steinus. Hi Josh. You guys know the drill. Comment down below. What's the tradition that I swear I have to do every day of harvest? What is it? You guessed it. Fill up with the fuel. I got less than a quarter tank, but I'm driving around. It goes down to just about empty, so. Might as well fill it up while we're, before we get running. So. so I'll put about 250 bucks in, which won't last long. Won't even fill up half this truck because road diesel is over 520 now, so that's fun. But at least I got a cute puppers in here. And grandma's food, so what can I complain about? Green beans. Oh yeah, pork roast, mashed potatoes, and a dessert below it. Thanks, grandma. Looks like we got two combines here. Look at that. Pat's over there, Nathan's here. Pat's gonna open up that big field and we're gonna open up this field, so. Okay, I'm catching Pat here. That should fill me up. He told me to go up here and turn around somewhere and come back, so we'll see what happens. There's the butt man and there's Nathan. Look at that side hill. <whistles> Woof. Oh, wow, this is butt man who's in the grain cart. He's, uh, it's the first harvest day of the year for him. Been able to get along without him, but uh, he'll probably be a steady staple for the next uh, while now. Uh, apple pie from Grandma, homemade. I can still smell it's warm. What you doing? There's Curtis, so we got all three trucks waiting here. We're just still waiting on Bun to come with the other grain cart. Then we'll be running at full speed. Curtis and I are gonna be hopping between these three trucks. Look at that slacker napping. Daisy, go wake him up. 
you have thumbs, you could open that door and go wake him up. But I guess one thing I did forget to update you guys on Cletus's health status. So I appreciate all the retroactive prayers. I know it's been a couple videos, but I do apologize about that. But Cletus, uh, who is Pat's father-in-law, he runs truck with us every fall, and he's he's a very big part-time help on the farm. He went up to the hospital a week ago, found some issues, some health issues, had some sur had a surgery, and all is well for all we know. So we appreciate all the help. He has to sit out for the next two to four weeks, which he is bummed and going stir crazy about because he he loves this time of year. He loves helping us out so that stinks but all is well he'll get better it is it, it's it's a miracle it could be a lot could have been a lot worse so appreciate all the retroactive prayers that good oh puppies i heard something i was like what the heck we only have one grain cart right now so uh nathan had to go dump it's not something you say every day let's go get film that Race of the storm, everybody. And I'll be full because my dad's coming up here right now with a pretty much full grain cart. So we got Buttman's first dump of the year. Oh, get over there. There you go. So we'll see how I'm at scoring spill. First one of the year. No pressure. Doing good, didn't spill anything. So we're on a side hill right now. So you gotta aim for the uphill tarp strap, which is exactly what he's doing. Cause if you're right in the middle, you'll spill over the side, which this side's downhill. You'll spill over the side before you'll actually get a full. Good. Nice shot, buddy man. Let's go, pup. Slacker. I'm just kidding, he's not a slacker. He had to be up at five this morning to go uh, load up a load of cattle, so just kidding, Kurt. Good days ago. Okay, we're dumping, I guess. Dumping, opening the tarp. We'll walk the weapon real quick, see how, uh, see how full it is. It was almost full last night, but I think I ran it either all night or they we went late last night and started up early this morning. Oh yeah, they must have ran it all night. They're just about empty. Which is good because the corn is gonna be flowing now. Both combines, same field, two cars, three trucks. We're gonna get moving. Thank you to Midland Radio for keeping our comms moving and, and keeping us moving efficiently, by the way. Go check them out if you guys are interested. She is just so oblivious to the two cats that look like they wanna maul her. And she's just sniffing. Literally, has no clue. Let's go check on this calf. Or in her words, let's go check on this big dog. Are you hurt? Or are you just this friendly? Oh no, you're not hurt. <laughs> Daisy wants to play with the big dog. Ooh. Is that a big dog? You wanna play with the big dog? She's got all sorts of energy today. Come on. So I was expecting to pass my Uncle Bun when I was driving back here, but uh, he must've took the back roads. Uh, he was gone and his truck was sitting here, so. That's good. We got both grain carts rolling now. Well, both was my dad just catching Pat on the first couple loads. It's all right. So we got plenty of weapon space. We're going to drop the hammer. You have so much energy right now. A couple sticks or stems, I should say, if I ask. Other than that, clean grain tank sample. Hardly any brokens. Perfect. Keep it up for now. Keywords for now. Yeah, hey, Budman's recording and I'm recording him. Okay, I'm still not used to this front spout like this, but we're getting used to it. It's the good type of snowstorm. Bees wings means corn's flowing. Part of the membrane that sticks the kernel of corn to the cob. To the cob. Getting ready to dump. Rolling good. It's my first bucket of the year. Look at that. Pork, potatoes, beans, 
dessert, pop, water, milk. Life is good on Heart Tongue Family Farms in the field. Buckets. Grandma outdid herself again. I don't know where we're at. We're out in no man's land here. I do see two combines though. That's good. I just took the pup for a run. Now I'm tired. You wear me out, dog. You look, you're not even phrased. So I need about 300 bushels or so left. Just call my dad. He's going to come dump on me here shortly. Hey, Dad. I'm doing the north and south roads here the end roads now. Yeah, I see you there. I'm only a couple hundred yards up getting your dad right now. I'll be right up. Okay. So we're filling here with the 788. And then I got Nathan up there with his lights on. So catch Pat. And then we'll go catch Nathan. That's cool. Okay, now I got the 7150 catching that one. Nathan's in this one, right there. And we had to stop here. You can see there's corn here, but these rows go this way. And these rows back here go this way, so we had to stop. Pat will be coming down this way here. So what Nathan's doing now is he's knocking these end rows off this way, so he can start going back this way with it. Mike, uh, so typically we have one cart, grain cart stay with one combine, another grain cart stay with another. I'd like to see the combines work kind of closer together, and that way one grain cart could go combine, combine, dump, combine, combine, dump. So we just get in a rotation, and that way, yeah, we might not have enough to fill a truck at every dump, but we at least don't have the situation where we just had where I got all the way back to the field empty, Curtis was still sitting here, one grain cart was filling him, and another grain cart was sitting here loaded. So I just, I don't know, that's just not efficient. With, with our limiting factor being the, uh, being the leg, we always need to have a truck there or at least try to be there dumping. So in order to do that, we need to get trucks in and out. We can't have two grain carts sitting there. So I don't know. How do you guys do it on your farm? Drop a comment down below. Any suggestions? I guess, what do you guys do logistically? Like for us, we have two class seven combines, 2,000, 1,100 bushel grain carts, and then we're running three trucks right now. So that just gives you a little bit more of a premise. Not the most even load in the world, but man, but you'll get it. I believe in you. Getting her done. Just got that 40 acre corner left. In the hills today. But man's got to take it all the way up there to that semi up on top of the hill to dump. The other combine's rolling down there. We got a pretty good chance of rain coming in about six, seven o'clock. It is three o'clock right now. I'm trying to get this 50 acre piece knocked out. We'll see how she goes. Here, combine there, combine there, grain cart there, semi way up there, two semis are gone. A lot of stuff going on down here. We are making corn come out. Hopefully that rain holds off to about six o'clock and it'll be good. So our baler took a crap last night. It's not working right, so we actually have a John Deere baler out there finishing up. Oh, deer's always out there to bail out the case. Dry mo or wet moisture coming in at 17 and a half right now. Dry moisture is around that 15 and a half. So we're taking out about two points. And the dryer is cruising. I think it's putting out a thousand bushel an hour or so. So what we're we're making we're gaining on the dryer, but it's got 10,000 of space. So it's uh we're not gonna catch it today. It's good. Back at the semis. Dumping corn. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, Curtis has been having trouble with our uh, with wrapping these corn stock bales. Not sure what the issue is. Caught that video right here where uh, I was I raked all those swads and Curtis tried bailing. It just it was wasn't good. Let's go out and take a look and see what the issue is, and then see how this deer is bailing us out. So here's a perfectly wrapped corn stock bale. It's got about three or two and a half wraps around it, which is keeps this nicely packed, nicely packed bale kind of compact and doesn't bust apart. But it does not do this every time. For example, that. There is net wrap on there, but for some reason there was a bulge, which you can kind of see the, the second one down right there has another bulge, but it just busted. Not good. 
So yeah, we could not figure this out. Curtis messed with the pressures. He messed with different wrap. We couldn't figure out what the deal is. And I apologize if the wind is a little bad because it is very windy out. We got our neighbor to come down. Let's see, where's he at right there? With his John Deere 659 premium or 659 baler. And it looks like a 70 something 20 series tractor. Here's a poke at you red guys. I'm a red guy too, red farm. I just work at the green so I can poke fun of both and not feel offended or be equally offended. I'll let you decide. But uh, green is saving our butt. John Deere to the rescue. That's our neighbor, Dar. He's pretty awesome. Appreciate him taking time out of his harvest to help us out. Hi, cows. RBR 565 down. No bueno. And when you get those swats picked up, because if we didn't do that before this inch of rain we're gonna get tonight, it would make them just rotten and full of crap. And then we wouldn't know what to do with them because we can't bail that because the whole point of that is getting dry, nice bedding for our cattle. Well, if we bail that, it might spoil and the cows won't like it. But we can't really spread it back out. Well, we could tend it, but it just would not be good because we'd have an uneven nutrients. We'd have an uneven residue in that field. So it's just not a good deal if we didn't get it bailed. So we appreciate you coming, Dar. Off we go again. One of these days we're gonna actually build a loop into this that we know have to back up because backing up is never good. It's just inefficient and it can be dangerous. Let's go. But man is full. They're making quick work of this field, that's for sure. No, let's try and get the drone up in there real quick. you drew in that drone footage. Now I'm a little running a little behind, so let's uh, kick it into high gear with the day cab. Good old 93 Freightliner. Clouds are getting a little darker to the west. We'll see how much longer we'll be able to go. I don't know. I hope we can go at least uh, finish this field. Oof, uh, we got about another hour until rain starts. That can't be too bad. I wonder what it looks like. Oh, we inch and a half, which we'll take it. We need the rain. Kind of coming up. On the bright side, this is exactly what the Mississippi River uh, region needed. I mean, we need a big, big rainstorm. We need a big rainstorm to kind of help start rebuilding the tributaries and all the groundwater that tribute to the Mississippi River. The Mississippi River is dangerously low, like in record low levels, not like record record, but the lowest it's been, honestly, in my lifetime that I could remember. So, dang it, sorry about that. Curtis just pulled in, there you go. just finishing up that strip down there them short rows we got about five acres left here should go pretty fast I think we're gonna get her done before it rains get the combines and grain carts home parked under a shed corn is doing pretty decent about 215 give or take standing real nice haven't had standing corn like this for about five years. Makes it real nice. 
kind of forgot what it was like. Moving along. We got four behind, full green carts waiting on me. They're on the long rows. We're really gonna have to push it to keep up with trucks. Alright, now we start the truck shuffle. We're really gonna have to boogie 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 to keep these uh, combines moving. I'm gonna hop into this old 98 International. Pat and Nathan are rolling along and bun and bun and bun are keeping them moving. Close. One of those, you know, non millennial proof ones. I can't just hit a button and it goes. Gotta hold it. Oh well. So we're using this truck. This is a rented tr truck and trailer from our neighbor Matt. Appreciate it. Matt's Jeff's brother, the one that has the truck. And it's uh, it's keeping us moving. It's definitely handy. It only holds seven, 800 bushel or so, but that's uh, more than we had before with two trucks. Let's go. Fill her up there, Uncle Bun. I forgot how awesome that drink break was. Here goes Curtis. I'm dumping here. And Ronald's calling me. One truck gone, the other truck three minutes from pulling into the pit. We are being pretty efficient with trucks today. Nace being a pretty efficient supervisor, punch girl. We're full. They're just about done here. That's well, good. Let's get out of here. Try to keep this grain train a moving. Hi, Dizzy Girl. Curtis and I have different styles of a uh, running semi. He sits all the way on the floor. He'd be good at driving a Peterbilt with the hood on half the windshield. Me and the other hand, I'm tall. Well, he's tall too, but I like to sit up higher so my knees aren't killing at the end of the day. Let's roll. Rough life. Slowly but surely, we're getting this field knocked out. Oh, this for timing. He's just pulling off. I'm pulling on. Last pass for dad. Little smoky. Rain's gonna be coming in like an hour or two, so good time to get her finished up. the bud man and it is windy out looks like it's raining way over there probably two more semi loads we'll have this done here life is good here in jackson clinton county with hard time family farm. i hope everybody else is doing well i don't know if you can hear me but it's windy we're ready to blow off of this thing i think days like these are uneventful for truckers you just go back and forth and round and around and not a whole lot different which is good good for us bad for youtube sorry double dumping Finished her up. Not all of our round bales made or our stock bales made, thanks to the neighbor, thanks to that John Deere. That's the last truck load. Well, I shouldn't say the last, second to last truck load from that field, and everything's moving home. So we got that rain to the west. I'm not sure what to think of it. It looks like we could keep going. I think we should. I think we should. Up north is gonna get a, it's a little darker. And the stuff's going that way. But if you look to the south and west, I think we can keep going. So we'll see what the guys want to do. So that bin's just about full, and we're gonna be completely full up here. Minus the wet bin. We're gonna go talk to Curtis to see if he's checked that in a while, and Daisy's trying to wrap me up again. This cart is huge. Crazy big. I hope I don't meet a semi or two. Fuel pit stop for them. There's the Bud Man. Wanna go see, wanna go see grandpa? Nope, 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 nope. None of that crap. Hey! Who's that? Well, we made it back from the Smith farm. Now the rain's about an hour away, they think, so we're gonna try to knock some out behind those bales way up there. Going to a rain's the way it sounds, so we'll see what happens. Look at the puppy. Father, son. No, no, Daisy girl, you don't want that water. I just wanted to see the 12 row corn head and the 71 50. So Curtis, my dad and I are gonna head down south once Curtis is done dumping his truck. We got a pickup, we got a semi, 
sitting down there, so we'll go grab them. Hopefully the rest of those guys will start up. Looking awful dark in the, in the west there. Looks awful dark. I don't know what's going to happen here. I'm going to shut this tractor off and see what's going on. Pat's just rolling in and Bun's right behind him. So the harvest crew's back home. We're probably going to go start on that if the rain isn't going to hit us anytime soon. There's Uncle Bun. So both combines and Bun are going to go out back and start. My dad's going to run Curtis and I back to go bring everything from the other field. And that rain's getting closer, but it's not uh, close enough yet. We're going to keep rolling. Oh, to be easily amused like a dog. She's just chasing the leaves that get blown by. Well, the two red beasts are going to get started here. We got about 20 acres back behind the, the farm right up that's opened up. So we'll see if we can get that done. Got the 78 and the eight row Drago up front and the 12 row Gehringhoff folding corn head up and the 7150 in the back. So we're going to go pick Curtis up and go grab and go get those two pieces of equipment that are at the other farm. Jeez, Nathan not even getting out of his cab to fix a snout that popped up. Making his little brother do it. I shouldn't say little because Curtis is about twice the size. Oh, it broke? That's cool. Now it takes three of them to fix this. And we just about left. And then I remember that we got to shut the dryer off right here. Curtis is going to hit the resume hold button. It'll go through a 10 minute cool down because the burners are running at 200 degrees. So it'll cool the dryer down. But if I wouldn't remember that, uh, we would have came back to corn on the ground. That's never good. Bye Daisy. Take the fuel wagon home. Man, this smells nice. Nice farm truck. That shouldn't be there. Pretty sweet unit, that's for sure. Go sit in the semi. Yeah, don't you know the script? I'm supposed to start up, then you're supposed to start up so I can get both startup picture or video. Rookies, I tell you. So we got both combines running out back and Bud is running with his head cut off trying to catch up. The Bud Band's gonna kick her in high gear. Let's head out there. Kurt is putting the uh, putting the semi away because we only need two because we're literally right out back and he's gonna hop in with me because his semi's already out back there. I wonder if it would help if I, you could see. For two, it would help if I could think or talk or do anything right. So it's getting hard to see, but Curtis is gonna put the 706 away. It's just sitting outside. We usually like to put anything with an engine away for storms if we can. It would have been nice if the guy who has been sitting in the semi for the last 10 minutes would have thought about it then and done it, but nope. Again, slacker. Combines are chugga lugga lugga long. Nathan's on the long rows. Dad's right here dumping. And Pat and Bun are on the far side doing the short point rows. We usually like to have the big combine, the 7150 and the 12 row corn head, do the longer rows just because they're more efficient. You can get more done. You can do more bushels per hour doing that. And then have the smaller combine, you know, open fields up, open point rows up, just do the shorter stuff. That way, you know, it's just most of it's most efficient for out for the equipment that we got. Well, it isn't raining yet. We got back to the farm. Dad thought, well, let's uh, let's go do this 20 acres real quick, right behind the farm. All right, so here we are, hoping to get her done before the rain does set in. We will see when that is. Not a bad thing, keep her rolling. Okay, note to self, uh, don't forget to give my dog water throughout the day. So I've been giving her water in the last seven hours since she drank eight ounces of water already, and she's still going. Oh wow, I'm sorry pup, my floof. I'm sorry floof. So if you look at the radar, our rain's gonna hit us in about 25 minutes. And it's not gonna miss us, which is good. We need rain. Traffic jam at the trucks. Well, there's both combines, they're getting close. Almost done. One gone, another one pulling up. And rain will be here in about 15 minutes by my radar, so I'm going to tarp this truck and start dumping it. But I think, uh, dump it and go get a bite deep, but I think I'm going to be uh, rained out by the time I get back. Just finished up. Had a delicious meal from Grandma again. Cavalry's all done for the night. Both green carts, both combines are back. Kurt's last truck is dumping. I'm going to go park this thing next door. The guys must still have some grain on their combines, so they're just dumping right in the trucks. 
Less than the nick of time, starting to sprinkle. Both grain carts tarped. Yours is. It looks like Buns is too. Just before the rain rolls in, got her all done. What was it, 85 acres today? I uh, you know, didn't even ask. I think it'd be about right. We had about 20 loads. Oh, wow. Let's go get wet. This is very moist. Very, very moist. But we made it. We're gonna turn this fan on. This is the bin that was uh, putting dry corn in. You don't wanna make sure you don't step in poop. And you wanna make sure that uh, you got hot, dry corn in there that's more likely hot, which is all corn run through a dryer got hot. You gotta cool it down with a fan. So we're just getting equipment shuffled around and nestled in tight. As the rain is here and it's here to stay for a while at least, which again, we need it. So we are not cursing it whatsoever, but it's raining all the way back to Des Moines. So it's gonna be a little while, which is good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish dumping that truck, put everything away. I'm eh, not as bad as I thought I'd be, but I'm wet, cold. I'm gonna go grab Daisy and we're gonna call it a night. So thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, take it easy, stay safe. And as always, ta-ta for now.